In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to model up a basic sprocket. Okay, so it will look something like what you might find on your bike. Okay, we're going to do, we're going to use a few extrusions and the pattern feature. Okay. So let's start off by sketching onto a plane. The plane doesn't matter which one you want to sketch onto. Okay, and I'm going to start off with a circle and just as my construction line. Let's add a dimension there, make that 300. Remember that dimension, we'll need that later. Okay, and let's start a little bit of our profile. Okay, now let's tidy up some of these dimensions here. Make that 20. Here, let's make it 5. Ten. That's pretty good. I'm happy with that. Alright. Let's put some of these, let's put some curves on here. So I'll use a fillet there and there. And let's fill it there and there. Okay, let's clean that up. Make that six. And that one can be six as well. Next thing, let's put a little, a small fillet on the top, there and there, and dimension that, make it make five. five. Uh, okay, that doesn't want to do that because we've got this one too big. Okay. Now, let's add a little bit extra weight into this thing. Okay, there. And from now on, from here, we're going to remove some of this excess these excess lines that we don't need anymore. Delete segment. Remove all these lines here. Okay, so I've got that bit of a shape there for my sprocket. Let's just double check that we've got that all how we want it. There's no open ends there. And click OK. From here, let's go extrude. Okay, and let's just make this 10 mil. Okay, and accept. Here, what we're going to do is let's sketch. So I want to sketch onto that same plane. And remembering that we did that circle at the start and that was 300 mil, I believe. What we do, however, want to do is we want it to snap to some of these points. At the moment, it's not snapping. It doesn't know where it is, so we need to add some references in. If you go to the top left hand corner, you'll have this references key. So click on that. Now what you can also what you can do is find that and it will come up with a little star, a little green cross. Okay, that has now referenced 
that point we can put a couple of other references in here okay and it will it will now pick up if I put my line tool on it will snap to those points okay so let's go back into our circle and find the center I'm going to go all the way and I want the circle to snap onto those points center mouse wheel okay and I'm happy with that I'm going to go okay let's extrude now we extruded that last one 10 mil okay so if you look they line up okay happy with that so let's accept that extrusion now what we can do is we need to pattern that so make sure you've got that extrusion uh, the first extrusion which, which is that that profile we want to pattern all the way around our wheel so geometry we need it to be an axis okay we need to now select the point of reference, which is our axis of that the feature is going to pattern around. Okay. The number, let's put 24 in there. Let's try that and 15 degrees. And accept it. Okay. So that's the first part done. Okay, you can see now that feature has been patterned all around that circle that we've put in there, that plate. We can do some other, other features onto this. So I'm going to do a sketch now. Sketch, you can sketch onto two different things. You can sketch onto a plane or you can sketch onto a surface. So we're going to sketch onto this surface. Okay, actually I'll just cancel out of that sketch surface all right now let's put some of this feature in here okay and some dimensions now if you're not sure how those dimensions came up I just press down on the scroll wheel in the center of my mouse okay that dimension up. Let's make that 20. 20 there. This one can be 80. Okay. And let's put a fillet on that there as well. And there. Okay. And tidy these up. Let's say I want that to be. Okay, same with this one. Find the dimension and let's make them all the same. 8 mil. Um, at the moment, that looks a little bit out of place. I might change some of these dimensions. I might make that 30. Let's see how that looks. Okay, and there. Yep, I'm happy with that now. So let's select OK. And what I'm going to do now is extrude. Okay, it's extruding off that surface. Okay, if what we do now, you go up to your ribbon and alternate the direction and remove material. And you'll see that that has now cut that shape out. Select OK. Leave that extrusion highlighted. You can see it's highlighted in your image and highlighted in the model tree. We're going to go back to our pattern tool and we're going to select geometry pattern and once again axis and same thing select your axis and we want four at 90 degrees yep so now we're starting to get a little bit of that happening okay let's put some more features on this i might um, Let's have a look at what we've got here. So there's a hole in the middle. We've got also a little bit of a profile around there. So let's sketch onto that surface again. 
and let's remove that tunnel. Fifty. Okay. Extrude. Same thing. Remove material. Okay. And finally, one more detail we'll put on. Let's sketch onto that surface once more. Sketch. And let's sketch a circle. Might put it there. Let's have a look at the dimension there. Let's make that 260. And OK. And we're going to go into extrude. Now, I don't want to extrude that as it is. I want to go into my thickened sketch. And now you can see it's just extruded that line. Let's Alter the height. I don't want it that high. Let's go three. Okay. And I can also alter the thickness of that wall. So I can make that three or I can make it maybe two, maybe a little bit smaller. Okay. You can do the same to the back. So I'll accept that. Now on this side, if we want to, we can get this extrusion. And let's mirror that. The only thing is, no, we can't mirror that how it is. So I'll remove that. You could just copy that same feature and sketch onto that other side. So let's do that. So sketch. Circle and our dimension was 260. Accept that, extrude, thicken sketch, 3mm and 2mm. Okay, and that's the sprocket.